up though although yeah uh that assuming york is like six foot these bats are way too big unless like he's oh what's there no nothing there whoa okay i get like these door transitions are just loading screens if we could speed things up that'd be nice in here nothing here can't open that uh, how about this uh, that's nothing no we are not going there how about here cannot go in there hello hi uh this person's probably nothing to do with investigation anything here can't leave now all right all right that's fire exit of course silly me okay let me save i don't know i'm a save monkey at times let's I'm really, I'm a little upset that I can't play this with my controller. Maybe in a future session. Maybe like if I get mine fixed or buy a new one. Cause that's like my second. It's like my second controller in like how many months now? So oh, it's gonna be so weird. Getting used to another control scheme. What's this? Turn it on. What's this? Automatically citing storage. Quite modern for small town archives room. Yeah. Um. This is very Raccoon PD like. Hello, Thomas. Uh. I think I found all your keys. Uh. Keyholder pointing. Uh. I don't know. Where <laughs> let's just. Yeah. Let's start with this one. Is it this one? You found the key. Is it I this one? I think so. Is this it? Uh, you don't know your squirrels, do you? This isn't the right key holder. Okay. This is a Siberian flying squirrel. It's closer to a land-based squirrel. The Siberian flying squirrel is larger than the southern flying You've squirrel. You've got to be fucking and kidding me. And has a standing me. tail, while the southern has a hanging tail. But we're looking for a southern flying squirrel right now. You sure do know a lot about squirrels. Okay, alright, so for those that haven't watched Twin Peaks, one of the main characters is, um, Agent Dale, I think? Uh, the FBI agent also has proclivities. He has his own quirks as well. So, first thing he, he fucking does while, um, yeah, let's, I'll, I'll take a fucking guess. Uh, let's make a light. Master key, you can drive off. Okay. And first thing he does during this murder investigation is... You found the key. What kind of trees are hope around so. here? Tell me. Did I spot that bunny rabbit? Did I see a snow tail? And I get it. I get what they're trying to do. Uh, These are just no, amalgamation this of... This is a sugar glider. Oh, sorry. Okay, hold on. All right. The sugar glider is a small yes. gliding possum. All right, yeah. Shorter sugar gliders are the, the, the cutest line. things ever. You can really see yes. Muscle definition on this I mean, like, uh, they're so fluffy and small. They're about, like, we're looking for half the size of a typical right hand. Now. Zach, can you tell these things apart? And yes. Uh, sugar gliders are just, like, the best. Like, unfortunately, they're nocturnal. So, like, when I was looking around for one, uh, great striped squirrel, uh, let's just go through all of them. I have a feeling, like, you found just... the key. I hope this is the right one. It's probably the wrong one. Uh, yeah, it's the wrong one. Uh, all right, you so... found a Siberian chipmunk this time, have you? What? Sorry, wrong key. Okay. A Siberian chipmunk? This species lives in northern Japan on the island of Hokkaido. They're actually quite a popular pet. So it isn't even a squirrel. But we're looking for a southern flying squirrel right now. And like, I, I remember like the price prices for sugar gliders here because I saw one in a mall nearby. 
and it was like I don't know. Uh, you found the key. Like Is this the five, one you were looking for? My math may be off. It could. It's probably like around two hundred to five hundred bucks. That's a. I know that's a huge gap, but my uh, math is just really no, bad right now. This is a gray squirrel. Sorry, that's not the but key. It's a squirrel. Nothing particularly special about the gray squirrel, I'm afraid. You can find them in the U.S., Canada, and in England too. A gray squirrel. What was I thinking? I feel but like we're all of these for a are southern wrong. flying squirrel right now. Okay, southern flying squirrel. Wait, well, this is the last one. <laughs> Uh, curvy tailed flying squirrel keys. Yeah, this is probably the, this is probably you it. found the key. This should be it. That's the right one. It's a good thing I, we went through like the whole the whole place before. There it is. Yeah, there you go. Yes, a southern flying squirrel. Thank you so much. I'll bring the files right in. So, please go to the meeting room. I did all the fucking legwork, buddy. Okay, I'll be waiting for you. Well, Zach, we just got here, and we've cracked a big case already. I feel like he does that motion. I feel like he does that motion because he was probably supposed to have the a tape recorder. The victim's name was Anna Graham. Age 18, she just recently graduated from high school this year. Her dream was to move out to the city and become a model. But for the time being, she was working in the A&G diner here in town. She lived with her mother, Sally. Anna's father died in an accident in the lumber mill when she was a child. Her mother is unemployed and lives on the insurance money from her husband's accident. After all, it's a small town with a low cost of living. Financially, they seem to get by fine, and they led normal lives. A normal life is exactly what a curious teenager doesn't want. It's all starting to make sense, Zach. You can call us Dan. City folk, huh? No. No, I take that back. All of them can't be as bad as him. And some should have better manners. Huh. This is a good biscuit. I've never tasted a biscuit this delicious. Where in town can I get these? Well, actually, I, well, I, I baked them myself. Oh, he's so shy mm. about it. It's amazing. What are you doing in law enforcement? I'm very particular about biscuits, I'll have you know. The balance of milk and butter you've achieved here. Oh, my. Agent Morgan, the autopsy's ready. You are welcome to accompany me to the Greenvale General Hospital. Emily, you come too. Thomas, stay here and tidy up these files. Y yes, sir. We're going to use the car outside. Let's get going. I was expecting someone you to tell him to get shit together. small town police investigation, but our inspections are thorough and solid. I'm hoping you won't slow us down. I thought that was two stacked donuts. That number of continues just bugs at me. Whatever. I'm I'm just getting paid to do Yeah, let's go. I, I'm paid to just look around for keys. Which No, not a bad deal, to be fair. I was gonna look for um for the weapons store. The Greenvale General Hospital is down the road by the lake. It's too far to walk. Come on. Get in the car. If I'm riding in a car, George, I prefer to be the driver. Can you provide a car for me? What are you talking about? You don't even know how to get there. Which is another good reason for me to drive, George. I need to learn my way around town. Oh, man. You're a pain in the ass, York. Very well. Then I'll ride with you. I want to keep an eye on you. Fair enough. Just one thing, Agent Morgan. Your involvement in this case is limited. That means you don't have to learn your way around town. George, we'd better get moving. The hospital closes at 2100. Boy, oh, for God, there's an actual clock here. I'm so sorry. Oh, boy. Okay. Uh, is there another police car? Yeah. Let's try the SUV. Like...
Get in. Get in, Agent losers. Morgan, get us there quickly, but drive within the speed limit. Just because you have a badge doesn't mean you can drive like a maniac. George, what are you, his mother? We just need to get the autopsy results. Agent York isn't accustomed to the town yet. Give him a little slack. Hmm. You know, you should be proud of me, George. I drove like a responsible citizen on my way here. Well, and why is it York, raining? Let's get going. Sure. Sounds good. Okay. Uh, where the fuck? Uh... No, no, no. I, uh, I turned around the- Oh my god, it's even worse. This is even worse. This is just as bad. Holy shit. I, I want to switch to another car. Oh, wow. Okay. And it, the, the turn radius is kind of shit. Hold on. Uh... Wait, is it this? Okay, I can't- I can't look around. Okay, hold on. Uh... Okay, hold on. Let's go to the map. I didn't know how to get there. Um, where is our... Uh, where is it? Okay, oh, it's this way. Okay, so uh, we're going here. Let's go up north, up January Way. Holy shit. Okay, hold on. And then, uh... Alright, take a, a left here, right? Yeah, and then here. Okay, alright, uh, sounds good. This isn't exactly Grand Theft Auto, so I shouldn't be... Hello, there you go. Why is it... Hey, get it together. I mean, like... You're telling me to drive within the speed... What? Hold on. I heard... I heard investigative... I heard something. Damn it. That, that went by too quickly. Alright, fuck it. Okay. It should be quicker with, uh, with pressing E. Okay, we're go. We're at go. We're fine. The lights are green. We're fine. And did that? Whatever the hell that is, that's closed. Ah, I'm so sorry. Uh, hold on. It's so weird doing this on key mouse and with mouse and keyboard. Am I, uh... Okay, uh, <laughs> then, second, eh, dang it. Yeah, at the second- Agent Morgan, I can't help noticing you prefer to work alone. Most of the time, yes. Don't you get lonely, flying all over the country alone? I must say, I've never felt lonely. Are you married? Unfortunately, relationships and I are fleeting strangers. I don't get on very well with women, you might be surprised to hear. That's because you're young. You notice things like that at my age. You have to treat women carefully, like a thin crystal wine glass. If you don't, they can cut scars on your face, just like yours, right? Uh, George, is this an interrogation? I see you're a seasoned professional. Uh, but let's not talk about my scar. It was caused by a problematic woman. Well, she got you good. Terribly good. It'll fade away, and nobody will notice it in a week. A week? It's not that light of a wound. So, Emily, tell me. Oh my is god. Is there really a need for a full time sheriff in a small town like this? I'm sure it is small to your city eyes, but any gathering of people leads to all kinds of problems fights, runaways, stray pets. You're too fixated on violent crimes. Our job is to guide the people along the correct path, first and foremost. Now, that's what I consider to be my duty as the sheriff of Greenvale. Zach, there he is, the monarch. In all his glory. You're such a dick, you are. This makes me glad that I wasn't born here. Did you say something, Agent Morgan? No, nothing, George. I was just reflecting on a little history. Well, we're in the middle of a homicide investigation. Keep your mind on the matter at hand. Okay, which right now is driving. Am I going the right way? Yeah, I am going the right way. I guess like at this point in the game, like, hospital. 
Oh. I guess they wanted to be ready for uh, put up a town ponchos. Food poisoning. No, no. It's another leftover from the town's prosperous slumber days. Hard to imagine now, though, isn't it? My mother always talked about how energetic this town used to be. Almost like a gold rush, she used to say. Impressive. But the hotter the fever, the faster it cools. And so now there's hardly anyone left to use this place. It pains me to watch my hometown lose so many citizens. Beyond your understanding, I'm sure. Yes, I'm sorry to say that it is. Indeed. And that's why this case is our problem. There really isn't any need for you to get too involved. Yeah, so, yeah, this is like at the part of the game where it's still like... We're trying to introduce you to everything. Hello, Sheriff. Before we open up the whole thing. Hi, Fiona. <laughs> that... Reckly Fiona. Really unnecessary. Hi there, Fiona. We're here to see Usha. Do you know where he is? I think Dr. Johnson is in the computer room. A computer room? In a hospital? <laughs> nice to meet you, Mr. FBI agent. The computer room is where our employees share a computer. Very nice to meet you, too. I'm FBI Special Agent Francis York Morgan. But how did you know I was FBI? <laughs> Easy. None of the police in this town wear cologne. Alright. Besides, that scar on your face is the biggest rumor in town. Rumors get exaggerated as they spread, even in the countryside. What's that you're reading, if I may ask? You haven't heard of this yet? It's a recent bestseller mystery. It's set in the U.S., a small traditional North American town close to the Canadian border. A peaceful, traditional place. However, that peaceful town is shattered by a terrible crime. The murder of a local girl. And that incident causes grief and sadness to everyone in town. But everyone feels the seditious, heinous, evil still lurking, alive. Yes, much like the situation right now here in Greenvale. Fiona, don't say that. Oh, sorry, I shouldn't have said that. With Anna dead and all. Don't worry. Books are written to entertain, and it's good you're enjoying it. What we're faced with here is a terrible crime committed in a real world. Much different from that of a novel. So there's no need to apologize. Thank you, Agent York. I like how, like, these Japanese games set in the U.S. talk about... Here, welcome... Welcome to New Mexico, a southwestern United State. Home of de plenty, plentiful deserts and friendly people, but an evil lurks within. It's so alien, because I'm pretty sure no one in the U.S. talks about other towns like that. It's like, uh, yeah, it's from... You wouldn't call, you wouldn't say Washington it, it, or Washington or Seattle is, is a, is a, is a port city near, nearby Canada. No, you just call it, hey, I'm from Seattle. Um, where, what the hell am I supposed to do? Hold on at. Sorry for that mini rant. Hi, Em. You alright? Why, what's going on? I'm supposed to look, okay, that's not an, okay. Uh, there it is. Okay, this is bad. This is not good, because... Okay, I tend to explore a lot. We had this problem with Alundra 2. I'll try not to do that. Let's go. It's possible, like, yeah, hey, uh, we're, we're missing our, uh, our keys as well. Can you help us out? Yeah, we have our alligator keys. No, this is a crocodile. No, well, this is a reptile. Oh. Fiona needs to check her information. No, I don't think so. Does the doctor like playing games by any chance? What do you mean? There's a message on the computer. And a card key already set in place. The king passes the rook and meets the bishop. The knight takes a pawn along for the queen. What does that all mean? It's a simple puzzle. I don't want to solve take him this. Up on his challenge. No. You can do this, right? No, I'm really bad at puzzles, man. Uh. Wait. King. 
This is the key. All right. Ah, shit. Okay. King passes the the rook. No, 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 no. Uh, okay. So, king passes the rook, meets the bishop, the knight, the knight takes a pawn to the queen. No, mm. really? Okay, let, let, let's try it. Shit. No, no, no. Zach, something is still missing. We need more clues. What? Uh, really? Is there anything here? All right. Uh, can you help? Think you can help? All right. Uh, hey, okay. this is see my that's somewhere. You know, lots of chests. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. King passes rook. What? And meets bishop. Okay, I think. So the rook first. First, then. This is, no, this is the king. King has a rook. This is the bishop. Knight takes a pawn to the queen? Alright, hold on. Could be pawn, then knight, then queen? No. Uh. Zach, okay. something is still missing. We need more clues. All right, hold on. It might be. This is why I hate puzzles. Fuck your puzzles. Okay. Bishop, that's the queen. This is the bishop. It's the rook on, and there's the knight. Okay. Uh. This is so stupid. Okay. All right. It could be king passes rook, which meets the bishop, and then the knight. That. That. Oh. It's it's just in sequence. Okay, that's stupid. Okay. When they said passed the over, I, I guess I'm just being with the deceased. I'm just Another being a little code? too cute with this. I'm sorry, folks. But there's nowhere to insert a password. It's like I overthought it. games. I overthought it. I'm going to get Fiona to call Usha up here right now. No need, George. The message appeared with the card key. It's telling us where to use it. This is not the time to be joking around, Agent Morgan. Come on. Dr. Usha is below with the deceased. With Anna. Below being underground, I take it. Simple. Simple. Then it's time to meet the mischievous architect of this little game. That's a little... Uh, that's... Nah. Fine. That's... I'll take that. I'll take that. <laughs> Yo, thank you so much for watching. Follow me on these links so that I could remind you that this is a warning, not a guarantee.